Welcome everybody. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good one. I'm having a fantastic day. I hope your day is turning out as good as mine. Uh, today we're going to talk about the solar panels again. They actually showed us the difference between the Delta and the new laminated solar panels and we're going to talk about that. So let's get into this baby right now. Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's good to have you here. If you're new here, I appreciate you checking out my channel. And if you're old here, if you're old Patreon, thank you so much for viewing my channel. Uh, really means the world to me, but today we're going to talk about the solar panels and how they actually, or how uh, Chris showed the difference between the old laminated version and the new laminated version. It's good that they took on this new process and we're going to actually talk about that. So let's look at this video that he brought out and showed the difference and we'll talk about why that actually means the world, why that's such a big difference why that needs to be done and changed. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll get back into that after this video. Solar now has done the first run of production validation panels and they look amazing. Compared to Gamma, this is a massive step forward in productionizing these panels to be durable, lightweight, and produce the most power for you once you receive your Aptera. So as you can see here that Steve is bringing out that their lamination process has stepped up. It's gotten much better. Uh, the process doesn't leave any air bubbles. It's faster to produce the cells and it's much better quality. And as we look at this picture here, you can see that from the gamma validation that you can see how over time that the solar panel on has actually gotten all scratched up. And I mean, you can see all the scratches right on top of the lamination. And over time, that's going to fill up with dirt. It's going to fill up with dust. And when the light hits the panels, it's basically going to diffuse it. And you're not going to get 100% processing power of the solar panels. Uh, so that does make a big difference. And with the other panel, we can see how smooth, how clear it is how clean it looks. And he also said that there's no air bubbles that come with it. Um, it doesn't scratch as easy, so it'll last a lot longer. It'll give you uh, more 100% working power of the panels and you can get more power to your batteries that way. So uh, awesome job that Aptera is doing. They're slowly getting the process together and very soon now we'll be able to have all of these products or parts of the Delta put together. And very soon now we'll be seeing the finished product. And no doubt they're going to be taking the Delta not only through validation testing, but across also across different parts of the world for people to see their validated vehicle and, you know, what the Aptera is actually going to look like and what they are going to be buying so I think that is awesome. That is excellent. And give me your thoughts on it. Tell me what you think. Don't you think that that is uh, really outstanding what Aptera is doing right now? And they are being very transparent, showing everything that's going on with their company, as well as he even brought this out. Let me show this to you. And our crowdfunding campaign is open again. We hope we've shown you through previous updates that we've used your investments wisely to invest in tooling and equipment and the designs to get your vehicle to you sooner. We encourage you to help share our story so we can bring solar mobility to the masses. All right, all right, all right. As you can see, good news from Chris. He said the accelerator program is back on again. And so that is very good to hear that. Aren't you glad to hear that? Uh, give me your comments below that the accelerator program is back on. And you know what? Uh, since he did bring that back out, uh, we might as well just go ahead and take a look at what's happening on the accelerator program. And I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. So 
if you do a lot of investing and that tear is something that you might want to invest in, talk to your financial advisor or the company that you use to help you with your finances and uh, go from there. So once again, I am not a financial advisor. And so it's, it's amazing I, that I missed that the last video I came out with. And look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. They have actually, practically in the free fall, they have added, look like, nine more investors from the last time I had checked this out. Nine more. So it's dropping pretty quickly. And if you want to become a part of Aptera, then you want to go ahead and um, go to Aptera U.S., and click on the accelerator, accelerate, and you'll come to this page and then you can invest $10,000 in the shares of Aptera's company. And this is something that you want to get involved in quickly because this number is going to drop very fast now that they've opened this back up. And you do want to become a part of Aptera's family. But if you don't, that's understandable too. Like I said, once again, talk to your advisor See what they say. If they feel you shouldn't invest in that terror, don't. But if this is a company that you want to get deeply involved with, with uh, the best aerodynamic vehicle that runs on solar panels and can get you up to 40 miles a day, then this is the company that you believe in. Go ahead and invest in this company. And if you want to, you could use my link down below and it'll take you to this page and you can actually uh, get your own app terror and you could get the 250 mile version. Um, and of course, you'll only end up paying twenty five nine or about twenty six thousand dollars for your app terror. Uh, this, this is really a good thing that you want to get involved with because very soon we don't know how high the price of gas is going to go up. We don't know how long it's going to take for them to get the electrical infrastructure system set up. But with Aptera, you don't have to worry about that. If you need to plug it in, you just plug it into a regular 110 outlet and that'll give you up to 13 miles an hour. But once again... This is the company. Talk to your financial advisor. Those numbers are going to start dropping very quickly. And if you want to become a part of it, this would be the time to jump on board. Because when they come out with the Delta, and they're going to come out with it very soon, the next couple of months is going to go by very quickly, then this is the company you want to get involved with because uh, everything's going to start changing from here on out especially when they get the Delta on the road. But anyway, once again, leave your comments. I want to hear from you. And just want to say, if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. And I'm going to give a shout out to my patrons. You guys are always awesome. You guys have always been there for me. And, and for those of you who are new, I appreciate you visiting and watching my channel as well. I thank you very much and to my patrons. You guys have a good day and I know you're going to leave some good comments. So we'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye.
Oh, shut up.